I welcome today's sentence given to David Russell at Northampton Crown Court. On the 1st of April 2011, an 18-year-old female travelled from America to meet someone who she believes she was going to start a relationship with in the UK. Uh, but in fact, on arrival in Northampton, David Russell took her to an isolated wooded area where he attacked her by slitting her throat with a carving knife stabbing her to the back, punching her to the head and hitting her with a piece of wood before going on to try and to strangle her. It was only her quick thinking of saying that she had given his details on her landing card that saved her life. The 18 year old girl had left California having had approximately a two year relationship with Russell over Skype and the internet and chat rooms. She believed she knew this man, but in fact, she didn't really know who he was. She attended uh, Northampton Railway Station, where she met with Mr. Russell, um, and together they traveled by taxi to an isolated wood, where he went on to attack her and cause her serious injury. The concerning thing for me as a senior investigating officer was that no one knew that she was in the UK. She hadn't told her parents in America she hadn't told any friends, she had no means of communication, and she had no idea where she was in the country. I'd like to give out uh, some advice please, to people who are considering using internet dating sites or, or forming relationships via the internet. First of all, no matter how much previous contact you've had with the individual you're meeting, they are still a stranger when you meet them for the first time, and that goes for both parties involved. Never feel pressurised to go on to meet or, or to take the relationship further. Please be advised to meet in public places and somewhere you're familiar with. You know your own surroundings, you know where you're moving to if you move from place to place. Make sure you tell a friend or a relative as to where you're going, what time you're meeting and about what time you'll be expected back. And even make contact with them whilst you're out during the meeting. Make sure you take a mobile phone with you that's fully charged and got credit on it and that people who need to contact you know that number. Don't be concerned about moving or leaving the, the meeting if you feel that the relationship isn't going the way you wanted it to. Don't feel pressurised to stay. Don't feel pressurised to agree to changes of plan at, at short notice. And make sure that at all times you feel in full control of the situation that you find yourself in.